it and I've gone Tottenham nil, Nottingham Forest one. Oh wow. I'm a realist. Wow. But I can no, tell you. I can't lose to them today. I can you tell you that. Well. Talk to me. What's your thinking behind that? I'm ta firstly, I'd just like to You're confirm, ta ta. Antonio Conte is 100% leaving. At the end of the season yes. or after this game? Uh, no, de I mean, definitely at the end of the season. Yeah. Hopefully but after he, this game. Did he text you? Uh, no, oh. but I know somebody who rents a property mm. to a member of the coaching staff. Right, and they've basically said, hey, the lease is up in July, we ain't renewing. She'd like, cut it. Interesting. Cut it off in my so there you go. So there's your exclusive. GR guys. Sports exclusive. <laughs> this, is for you. this is why oh. we pay her. Yeah, there we go. That's your exclusive. So there we go. Are you happy he about that? Yeah, I couldn't care less. I'd like him to leave tomorrow. Are well, you happy about that? I know you're you're uh, like a big manager, big manager high. You love your big no, manager. No, no, not even big manager high. I'm a, I'm what you were saying earlier. Like I'm a believer in you hire a manager, you see out the course type mm. of thing. Yeah, I was the same with Pochettino, with Jose. I'm not someone who's out out managers. Mm. If you like, I'm like, listen. Even right now, I think Spurs fans are calling for Pochettino, the return of Pochettino, oh, yeah. and. I've said, I, I've, if you I've, sat, I've if you, got a plane listen, flying across the I, I've been Stadium hearing today. her <laughs> preaching from the rooftops about Pochettino. And the thing is, is if you sat Conte right now, mm. that's the only option. one that makes sense. Yeah, yes. the only option. Right now. And the thing is, is for me, the reason why I kind of don't want to do that is because mm. it allows the board to get away with the mm. criminalities of sacking him in the first place. Four years round now have come round and you're going to take the job under the same circumstances you was complaining about. Same board, so same essentially what you're saying yeah. is, hey, hey, guys, guys, I'm in need of a job, but don't worry about their criminalities. I'll, I'll come in and paper over the cracks. Mm. So for me, that's kind of, I don't want him to come in and almost paper over their cracks. And then at the sake of if the job goes wrong and they don't back him in the summer, hypothetically, now it's on him. Yeah. And you've ruined your entire kind yeah. of yeah. era yeah. that you yeah. had with us. And it's all, all that work I'm done for nothing. Whereas. I'm like, the board have made this decision to hire Conte. Yeah. You better you made you own, decision, it, own it. You and made the decision to January. You had the opportunity. We all sat here in DR and we said, should we sack him in January? And we were like, yeah. If you're not going to back him, sack, sack him. him now, mm. get a new man in, give him the money, give him the second half of the season. They said, no, 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 no. We want to stick with Conte. Now you're out of all the cups. Now, now you, now's the time to throw mm. your toys out of the pram. No. Top four still there to be grabbed. I still think Conte is a good enough manager. I'm not going to give these players who absolutely bottled it in these last three games against Sheffield. Wolves you were outschooled against Sheffield outworked yeah. against Milan you didn't even turn yeah. up no, so I'm not gonna act though. like Conte's got a magical controller and he's the one telling these players yeah don't run don't press listen I'm not saying his tactics are helping his tactics definitely negate us to an extent but these players have to turn up and put a performance in I'm sorry Kane Kulusevski and Son in that Champions League performance they're my favorite guys but they stunk it up on that yeah. day so as we know, Antonio Conte will be going um, at the end of this season. So I want to run you through a short list of potential candidates. Uh, Maurizio Pochettino, <laughs> Luis Enrique, Ange Postacoglu, Roberto De Zerbi, and Spalletti. What's Thomas Tuchel? You didn't put Thomas Tuchel on T Thomas Tuchel is not me, noted on this list, but I also don't I'll see the point of De Zerbi being on this list either. Pochettino for me is rose-tinted glasses, mm -hmm. looking back. Um, Luis Enrique is more of the same of Conte and Jose, where a manager is going to come in, demand a lot, and the board aren't going to give him it. Um, the Zerbi, for me at the moment, is a bit of a flavor of the month. I'll be honest with you, very new at Brighton. Let him kind of do his thing over there before we kind of get too sucked up on him. Uh, Pes 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 Pestacoglu at Celtic. Mm, not really my cup of tea. I've said for me, I think the ones I would kind of look at are Thomas Frank at Brentford, but I think he's even come out the last couple of days said he's really not that interested. Um, uh, Gallardo is another one, former River Plate manager, um, developed a lot of youngsters, Julian Alvarez, Enzo Fernandez, constantly kept losing his top talents, um, won the South American Champions League and the Argentinian First Division a couple of times with River Plate as well, at a time when really and truly he didn't have a squad to be winning it. But I think a manager like that who can work with young talent um, work within a budget, work almost build a culture like Pochettino did the first time round, but mm. without having to use Pochettino himself, if mm. that makes sense. A newer, fresher version, I like to think of it. So for me, I think he's someone and plays attacking football, mm. which is something Spurs fans have been crying about and saying well, they want to enjoy. With, that yeah. has to be with the next manager. 100%. They have to play. And I think one Tottenham thing where a lot of people are seeing Luis Enrique's name and 
Luis Enrique doesn't play an exciting style yeah. of play. I'm sorry. Spain's kill you with a thousand passes doesn't entertain me. You're I'm also sorry. not going to be able to do tick attack football with yes. Ben Davis. A hundred percent. Think about it. <laughs> like, and before that, happening. he was working with MSN Barcelona. Yeah. 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 So it's like apples and oranges, people. Like, let's get realistic. If you if you're saying you want to kind of go back to seeing the Tottenham you wanted to see where you enjoy the football again, Luis Enrique is not the solution in my opinion. And going back to Pochettino. It's a bit of the comfort thing for me. That's the only thing. It's the comfort thing. Makes I hear it. I completely understand where people are coming from. But not for me, man. Let's move forward. I, 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 think, I, think, Pochett That's the man. I think Pochettino is a, a bad decision. Not saying he's a bad manager, but I think it's, yeah, it's going back. I don't think it's going to... Go for Chelsea. Go for Chelsea. Go for Chelsea. Go for Chelsea. Is it Madrid? Hopefully not. Is it Madrid? Michaelo, Just to Michaelo. silence you. It's not. It's Ben, ben. Chilwell. <laughs> it's Ben Chilwell with the goal. So Everton are one 0 up against Brentford. Leicester are one 0 down against Chelsea. Tottenham had a goal for a Charleston disallowed for offside, but it did look a little bit suspect. Uh, and it still leads nil. Brighton nil. I'll tell you what, Leicester are really getting sucked into this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, they've been doing it for a while. But I think yeah, the Pochettino one. It's like. It's not exactly the same, but it's kind of the reason I didn't want Pochettino at Man United. I think there's just too much baggage. And I say that in the sense of, because he never won something his first time at um, Spurs. Then he went to um, PSG. PSG and he was like, yeah, he won, but it was a bit 50-50. Eh, How good was he? Was it his fault? Was it the player's fault? X, Y, Z. He didn't, his reputation didn't increase by going to PSG. So that, that kind of, the baggage still carries around with him. If he comes back, and yeah, it gets top four maybe a couple of times, or whatever. But the moment that results start to, start to go bad, it's going to go back to the Pochettino bottle job. Is he really that good? How good is he really? Spurs and Pochettino. Pochettino's been here a total of eight years and won yeah, nothing. There's yeah. just too much narrative where I think yeah. you just need a clean, fresh start. Someone that's never, probably never managed in the Premier League before. Mm. Um, definitely hasn't managed Spurs before. And I, I would say, a diff obviously, what you went through. Uh, Mourinho, Nuno, and Conte, all pragmatic managers. A new style. Like, I'll say, go reverting back to what well, it's, Spurs it's traditionally played, play, the exciting attacking football. Yeah. That, I think so. It, it needs to be a clean break from anything that you've had in the past, you know, four, four years or whatever. Yeah, there's a super chat from Raj. He says Spurs should go for Ruben Amorum from Sporting. Sporting See, another well. one, yeah. Him, I would have gone for like a year and a half ago when he won the title with Sporting because they seemed like they were playing good football. Similarly, loses a lot of his young talents, develops young talents, works within a budget. Yeah. But I've been seeing them the last year or so. Very defensive football. Yeah. Plays with the back five. So we, we, this is we, what I'm saying. Sometimes people that. read articles and they're like, oh, <laughs> he sounds nice and foreign. But Ruben Amarim, defensive back five manager. So if you want more of the same of what you've just been seeing, go for that. And, and that's not the for thing. Me. I mean, I, I would equally like someone like Thomas Frank. But if I'm Thomas Frank, I'm not leaving Brentford. Yeah. Because the way that they do their transfers with the money ball <sighs> metric, they're, you know, they're, they're, well finished. they're, oh. they're really good in terms of a well-run club we don't have that and Graham yeah. Potter just an as an example turned Tottenham down twice in that summer where we went to get when we tried to get Conte mm -hmm. and we ended up with Nuno uh, and that's because of the way that we do things and uh, Thomas Frank he would be ideal but he's not going to come to Zerbi, no point being on the list we're never going to buy buy him out of his Brighton contract it's, but, it's but as, as, as good as um as good as they wait why is Robbie Savage celebrating <laughs> one of his, has it been this I mean, is it a Leicester goal Let's have a look. But, There's um, no way he's celebrating a chill world goal like yeah, that against his Leicester team. Not. Oh, Charlie Savage <laughs> oh. Charlie Savage goal for Forest Green. That's right. Um, but I think, in terms of um, who, who, you, who was it? The Ruben? Who are you talking about? Zerbi. Zerbi. Oh, Thomas Frank. I want to speak about. Yes, it's everything's good at Brentford, but. When that bigger job comes, can managers turn it down? We always say that because look at Potter. Potter it was, everything was set up perfect for him at, at Brighton. This season, they started well. They were in and around the European places. He had no quote-unquote reason to leave Brighton, but a bigger side came for him and he went. So I think, yeah, Thomas Frank can say what he wants, but if Spurs come and they say, this is, you know, this is, the project that we want you, the problem this is, is the, the money that you're going to have to spend, this is the length of contract, this is your salary. I can't see him turning them down. The it, problem is, I can't. think we're in that weird space at the moment where it's like, we're almost falling away from the other big clubs. We're kind of falling behind. So That's it's a okay. case of, do I want to be a part of this kind of sinking ship or do I want to be the one to kind of steer it around? It's kind of, mm. 
which role do I want to take type of thing. And I guess it all depends on what, how much belief you have in yourself as well yeah, as a manager. Yeah. But as, you, as Abby said, I think the Brentford situation, he's got a perfect job. He's got a recruitment team that almost has like a money ball system. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's like it's money ball one guy leaves, I've got another guy with the same metrics. But, right, and, and and but, but could do with that <laughs> massively, no, but, but, but we but, don't have that. But it's perfect until it's not. Look, look at Leicester. Leicester's situation was perfect. No, but there's, there's, a, lot, but, there's but, a lot of reasons you know where as to, no, as to why Leicester... A, right. No, but there comes a point where the, the, the player that you are replacing is not guaranteed to be guaranteed to be as good as or better yeah. than the player. Let's, let's so try to yeah. do it two like for like they they, yeah. they saw Mara's leave. They got Gazal in. They thought Arab for Arab. <laughs> nah, no, but, it don't work like that, bro. Also, also with Leicester, they, they took a massive hit during COVID. They had a big problem. Obviously, you forget they also lost their chairman um, as well. Not too long before that, but they took a massive hit uh, during COVID, yeah. and you know that. Their, their ownership has been great. And that's why I don't think they've sacked Rogers because they're going to keep him in place. They've mm -hmm. done well to keep hold of Madison. Uh, whether or not that happens this summer, maybe not. But that now now that the, the debts are cleared and things like that, which um, which the, the son of the, the former chairman has now paid mm -hmm. off, I think that we'll see Leicester start to rebuild. It's just yeah. because of the, the heights that they managed to hit in such a short no, but then, time. But, but then you look at Liverpool, for example, and Liverpool fans complain about FSG, yeah. who also use, I think, a money ball system. Yeah. But you look, okay, for, I'll give you an example. <clears throat> they signed... Mane, Firmino, Salah, um, in the round of 30 to 40 million pound mark. To replace a Mane, who was world class at the time that he left, to replace a Salah, maybe not a Firmino now, because he's not at the level he was, but mm -hmm. to stay at the level that you are, that, you are, that system ain't going to work. Because you, you can't take out a 30 million pound Mane and replace him with a 30 million pound Because the player that's actually leaving is an 80 million pound player, so to speak. I think they've got players... That have got the ability to to get there. Yes, but but it's but but then what you're doing, you're going back to where you were yeah, to get back to where that's you what, are. That's you okay. have to. That's, no, but, that's, but, that's, I when, okay. but I think at those big clubs, when you're at a level, you need to try and stay at that level. And to stay at that level, you need to get rid of you. To, you need to, if you're losing a world class player, you need to buy a world class player. Yeah, but I think that's, I, a, I think that that's, that's harsh on on Depends someone on level, someone top. like Diaz or someone like Josh. They've had a lot of injuries, Liverpool, and also their biggest midfield is not investing Look at in the poor role. No, at I'm least lucky. trying to go forward. Um, their biggest problem is not investing in the midfield. The reason Liverpool have been so bad this season, yes, Mane is a factor that they've lost him, but they've had a lot of injuries. Their midfielders yeah, have, have a combined age of 90, um, and that's really where it is. I mean, they, they'd have no problem buying a few players and they'd look a lot better. It's because yeah. they don't have the legs to implement what they look, used to look be able a lot, to do. Look a lot better, yes, but they're not, gonna, not at the level to compete with Man City because Man City are losing a 50 million man player and buying a hundred million pound there's... player to replace them. Are well, they? Well, yeah, I think. Well, I'm, I'm, talking, I'm just talking about the, will, the amount they're willing to invest. Not necessarily saying that Grealish was better than Sterling or da da da. But I'm saying they're, they're willing think, to invest. I think there's quite a few rebuilds coming on. If you look at Man City Cycles. squad, they, they, Man City are rebuilding. Yeah, but got... they're still on for ninety points this season. Yeah, of course, Liverpool of course are rebuilding and they're sitting in seven. But it's also the difference of the owner. Yeah, I think I think that's just that's just what what they've got, and and you know I think Liverpool. If you look at them. In the long term, Gakpo is going to be a great player. I think mm -hmm. Nunes is going to be a fantastic Diaz, player. Jota. Diaz, Jota. For the future, next season, I think they'll be Elliot. fine. Yeah. Harvey Elliott. Well, yeah, they, they could potentially they're get Jude Bellingham in the summer. Yeah, I think, I think they're going to be fine. I think there's, it's be. a, you know, you take that, that, that little bit of a rebuild. But the thing that, you know, the top teams should be concerned about Harry is, Kane I think there's a with few teams. The goal for Tottenham. Come on, you Hopefully, this Normal. one isn't going to be ruled out. Hazard, hazard, hazard. a bit more exciting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, Harry Kane with the goal for Tottenham. <laughs> Woo! I'm just going to cherish him for the next few months till he leaves. Where's he going? I'm not talking about that. We'll, we'll, we'll talk Tottenham. about it. That, that, that's something we will for sign a new deal in the summer. You heard it here first. DR Sports exclusive. <laughs> I hope I'm you're in right. Close contacts with the Harry Kane camp. <laughs> and they have said to me. Provided you get the manager, Fuad instructs, <laughs> I will sign a new deal. Yeah, I hope that was. I that just sold Harry Kane a, a property in Manchester, actually. Did you? Nothing yeah. to do with where he might be signed. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs>